All right, we're gonna have a, another look at the Martian from Mars Attacks. Have a look at the paint at where we're at right now and gonna move forward. Check back on this later. Here you can see I put a couple of layers on the base with the spine exposed, the flesh, tone, blood, guts, gore, you name it. Now I'm two or three, four, five layers into this and I'm gonna go deeper yet. Also, you can see that I've got um, the feet and hands taped off where I'm going to paint them green. I've got the body and everything else in primer. I've started working on the head of the Martian. And I've started sanding the uh, dome or the hemisphere, what have you, for the lamp with 600 grit sandpaper. I had some bleed through here, obviously. I don't know whether to add a little silver to that and make it look like a crack or just go ahead and get rid of it all together. Haven't quite decided. Might uh, I've already uh, done a light test on this. I might go ahead and add a blue light running with a, a random signal so that it looks like it's shooting sparks. And then keep this. Don't know, haven't decided yet. So, Here's where we're at right now. Here's the tanks. This is where I've mixed my paint, done my paint work, working with acrylic. Um, we've done some dry brushing, as you can see. Not done yet. Okay, let's come back to this after I've had a chance to work on it just a little bit more. Now, you should be able to see some slight differences. What I did is I took this sanding paper and this sanding brick or foam and I sanded down here I've got three or four layers of paint black gray and light gray sanded down here to get some nice intricate depth in here and on the sidewalk around the body added some more white to the collar and cuffs okay also this was all brown if you remember now I took the sanding paper and the sanding block and I sanded the top where all the ridges are so that I kept the paint in between the brown so I can come back over this later. I've got my really intricate pattern there and I can paint the other color that's going to go on the top, the greenish yellow and the pink around the back. I can paint those colors on the top of these ridges using a dry brush technique and still maintain all of my brown detail. See that? Now here's another little trick. I mixed this paint up and I had a little extra. Now I may need this at a future date so I went ahead and scraped it all up, put it inside this tin foil now I can take this tin foil, put it inside of a plastic bag, and I've got the exact paint to match. And yes, this is acrylic. I painted the base paint of the body with this acrylic blue. So, that's a trick you might want to use in the future. Come back here in a minute and see how it progresses. Okay, I'm getting ready to paint the actual suit that the victim is wearing one color. I'm going to use some of the existing shading that's already there, but I'm going to paint the suit one color. So what I did is I went along here and taped just in key areas, because I'm not going to worry about all this up here. Any of this up here is going to be saturated with blood, and it's going to look black anyway. And I'll get to the hand a little bit later. I haven't even added this hand yet, so I can paint it separately. So I'm just hitting these key areas where it blends with the concrete. Now I'm going to go over here with an X-Acto knife, cut right along the body line, peel the excess tape away, and start painting parts of this in one color, leaving some room for shading. Okay, and here you can see I've taped over the body, painted some more as soon as the paint is dry, I'll peel the tape off, shoot it with some acrylic sealer, and let it dry and go for another coat or two to kind of get another couple of layers of depth. 
Okay, we've got the blue body painted. We've got the legs and arms all taped off and the green painted. So this is really coming along, clicking along pretty nicely. Now let's do a light test on the dome. Okay, and here we go. Here's the dome lit. I've got a little more painting, a little more detail, and I start assembly and finish up the electronics. Woohoo! More to come. Keep on trekking.